Hello everyone, it's Hanny here from Virtually Fluent. In today's video, we're looking at a really special topic, which is adjective endings. That's right, adjectives do sometimes have endings in English. We're going to look at the two most common ones. We're going to understand when to use each of these. And if you want to take our supporting grammar course to top up your knowledge or do some activities and quizzes on this topic, you're more than welcome. I've left the link in the description below. For now, let's get started with the theory of adjective endings. So let's take a look at these two sentences. We have a guy who's sitting on the floor, he is bored. And we have a girl who's non-stop talking and she is boring. Now, these two sentences have totally different meanings and it's all because we've changed the adjective ending in bored and boring. So this ed and ing adjective ending is applicable to so many adjectives in English. These are the most common adjective endings. Be really careful though, because often when students see the letters ed at the end of the word, they think, oh, it's a past participle, nice and easy. And it uses, or they try to use the same function as a past participle of verb. But that's not possible here because ed, although it has the same spelling rules as a past participle, is actually an adjective ending, totally different. And it's the same for the ing in boring. People think, okay, present participle. Again, the spelling rules are exactly the same, but the use is totally different. So what on earth is the difference between these two sentences? So when we talk about an adjective with an ed ending, it's a personal emotion. It's a feeling that a person can have. I am bored. She is worried. They are interested. These are all emotions of the subject in the sentence. Now, when we use the ing ending, we're not normally referring to a person, we're normally referring to a thing, an object. And this thing is the source of the emotion. It's the thing that is creating that emotion for another person. The film is boring, so I am bored. The film creates that emotion, that boredom, and the person who feels it is me, so that's the emotion, that's the ED. Again, the situation is worrying, I am worried. The conference is interesting, I am interested. So the ED ending focuses on the recipient of the emotion, the person who receives that feeling, that emotion, and this is going to be a person, normally a person or an animal. ING ending, on the other hand, talks about the source of the emotion, the thing that is giving out this emotion. And normally it's not a person, normally it's an object or a thing. This particular example is slightly different because I've used a person in both cases. But now hopefully you can understand this girl, she is so boring because she's talking and talking. And the topics are not interesting. And as a result, this poor guy is sitting on the floor and he's really bored. So now we can understand what this picture tells us. And it's not just the example adjectives that I've shown you in this video. There are hundreds of adjectives that use both the ED and ING endings. We do have an entire downloadable list on our adjective endings course. I've left the link in the description below. If you learned something new in today's video, go ahead and give us a like. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for lots more grammar explanation videos, also pronunciation and vocabulary videos too. Don't forget to turn those notifications on. And I also have lots of social media channels too. I post loads of free content on a daily basis across all my channels. I've left all those links in the descriptions below and hopefully this will help you with your English. This is Hannah from Virtually Fluent bringing English to life.